Oh boy. What's with this creepy music? Once I was back in my room, I got lost in thought. What we learned from Alter Ego kept on spinning around and around in my mind. The administrators of Hope's Peak had planned all of this. They did it because of the tragedy which had happened a year ago. Apparently, the Headmaster is the one behind it. I'm the Headmaster. All these mysteries makes me worried. But I still have to try and unravel them bit by bit. I'm sure the road will be long and tough, but I don't have any other choice. I'm guessing it's gonna be free time soon. Who knows? Let's talk a bit about where I was at before I became a bear. At first, I was at total loss. I just had no idea I would be what I should become. A lady in the tech support department suggested I try being a shrimp. She was like, "Oh, the company's been trying to push for this forever. It's a really incredible offer." But as she's laid out all the details, it turned out. It wasn't a tiger prawn like I'd hoped, but a little popcorn shrimp. That's totally tiny. I would have been the world's smallest mascot. I like eating shrimp. I didn't want to be one myself. Plus, someone might come along and step on me. So then the lady totally started laughing at me. She was like, You think you can do a tiger's prawn on our budget? So ultimately, I decided to become a bear instead. And that's the secret origin story of Monokuma. Okay, then. I guess that's that. Good morning, get ready. Okay. First things first, I need to head out to the dining hall. Okay, so still not uh, free time just yet. We're still in story mode right now, so don't really have much to uh, whatever, I guess. Hey, what was everyone here for? Even Toko's here too for some reason. As I entered the dining hall, first thing I saw was her. <laughs> what are you staring at? Oh, Toko. What's your what? You, you guys will rot by just looking at me? Fine, then I don't look at me. I think he's just surprised to see you at the breakfast meeting is all. Indeed, it's been quite a while since you joined us. Um, yeah, what made you change your mind? <laughs> Byakuya said he likes girls to have some meat on her bones, so... I'm gonna start eating. I'm gonna force it down into my stomach. I'm gonna eat it till I drop. Okay. I refuse to lose! Nina. I wouldn't do that if I were you. Well, other than that, it looks like Kyoko isn't here. You know? Oh, she said she'd come by later. Later? Excuse me, why am I burping all of a sudden? Jesus. You know? Yeah, after you leave. Ah, uh, really now? She's not even trying to hide it anymore. <laughs> I know I said she wanted you to show some backbone, but you didn't need to show her that much. Just a second. You're dirty, Makoto. Dirty. President Dirty of Dirtlandia. You don't understand. Just the worst. You're the type who takes the stairs of love three steps at a time, aren't you? I'm telling you, it's not like that. <laughs> what the heck? You just sh shut up already, Hina. You've been running your filthy mouth like that. That's all that m morning. Huh? Filthy? Me? <laughs> don't make me repeat myself. Huh? I'm not filthy. <laughs> it's n no use denying it. We all see how disgusting you are. Sh sh shut up. Why are you taking words? Just ignore her criticism. It means nothing. It's not even criticism. You and that lusty body of yours? Night after night, you go out to your illicit cl club meetings. Hey, knock it off. I can't deal with dirty stuff like that. You midnight six trick cooler to only put the the danger i think i think i'm overboarding the whole jimmy thing i think stop it you'd like me to stop it wouldn't you you sweaty hand gripping the big fat chuck to tight going for all the Credit, your script 
Why is she getting horny? What the fuck? Toko, what the shit? Sure, you, you are really lonely, aren't you? And, 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 and it's, it's, it's uh, uh, amazing. And these ideas are coming into my mind one after another. Bastard. So, would you rather have your black eye on your left or on your right? Oh, fuck yeah! Cat fight! Cat fight! <laughs> Sorry. Come on. Let's leave Toko alone. She's gotten a little funny from all the pent up frustration. Anyways, you and Kyoko need to make up already, you know? Y yeah. I know. I mean, of course I want things to get better as soon as possible, but with everything that's been going on, I haven't had a chance to talk to her about what I saw. Before anything, I need to talk to Sakura about it. Alright, let's talk to her about it then. Um, Sakura? Mm -hmm. What is it? Can you make some time later? I was hoping I could talk to you. Ah! ah now that Kyoko's dumped him, Makoto's trying to win! Aoi, are you jealous of me? Or uh, jealous of the girls I hang out with or something? It kind of feels like that, honestly. You're like some sort of tsundere. Uh, I actually found out what the word is, actually, from that Undertale Let's Play. Um, I remember, like, during the Undertale Let's Play, um, I was questioning, like, there's this, like, plain enemy that I was thinking, I was like, oh, why is this acting like that stereotypical Japanese schoolgirl? And Sunder is actually in the fucking title. And I just recently learned what the term tsundere is. I think I actually remembered it beforehand, though, and just somehow forgot about it. Who knows? My brain works in really weird ways. But anyways, Aoi, are you acting like it's not like I want him or anything? Aoi? <laughs> God damn it, guys. Am I always the antagonist in the group? Are you in the <laughs> Makoto? Don't care who they are as long as they get the right equipment? Just the worst. Watch out, Sakura! Makoto's transformed into a wild beast. Prime Minister wild beast of Beastopia. <laughs> I am not a sex god, Aoi! I know I've had sex before, but that doesn't mean I'm good at it! Why is this happening to me? Well, can I talk wait till tomorrow? I need to get some rest today. For some reason, I've been feeling worn down these last few days. Huh? Huh? Are you sick? Did you get hurt? Mm. No, nothing serious. I just had some minor aches and pains. Huh? Is that... Must be because of the battle. Um. But it must be pretty bad if you have to go to rest. Are you sure you're okay? I'm sure a protein shake and some sleep will get me back on my feet. You got it. That's yeah, true. Protein is good for all kinds of stuff. Hey. You guys like worship protein? It's like your god or something. Okay. Makoto, I don't know what it is you want to talk to Sakura about, but save it till tomorrow. She's in pain. Yeah, I, I got it. I'm sorry. Sorry. You know? Well, for now, let's eat. Eat? I'm k k kind of nervous. Huh? huh? How come? What's your problem? Because I don't usually e eat in front of the other p p people. <laughs> Ever since I was a kid, I eat b by myself. What the heck? What about your family? <laughs> oh, well, y yeah. I, I used to live with my dad, my mom, and... M my mom. Huh? You got two moms? <laughs> what? That's just how th things are. <laughs> That's like a se- not really. Maybe it's some sort of polygamal thing. <laughs> or a, d a father married two wives or something and I don't know, they just agreed to it or something. <sighs> just let it go. You're asking for trouble getting involved with you for her more than you have to. <laughs> how d d dare you Speak with me with that d d disgusting m mouth of yours. Oh. oh my fucking gosh, she's actually defending you, and you backtrack with fucking insults? Really now, Toko? Really? <sighs> anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and eat. If I don't, Kyoko will never show up. <sighs> A pretty miserable situation, man. <laughs> Whatever. I scarfed down breakfast as fast as I could and immediately headed back to my room. So now it's free time, right? Or is there more story behind it? Or is it nighttime right now? That's wait till tomorrow to confront Sakura about what I saw, but in a way I'm kinda relieved. It takes a lot of courage for me to stand face to face with Sakura and accuse her of something. Okay. So now it's free time and we can hang out with whatever or whoever we want. Uh 
What's the square button? Let's see where everyone is. I don't even know we can even talk to Kyoko right now. Right, Sakura's in her room, so there's no point in talking to her. No one's in the first floor hopes we can pad me wall. Or the second floor. Or the third floor. Fourth floor? I could try and patch things up with Kyoko, but I'm probably gonna have to wait until Sakura. I could probably talk to Aoi if I want to, but I think she's offended by me or something. There's not really much of options, do I? is there? I guess that's a hero. Let me see what happens if I at least talk to Kyoko or something. If I could find her somewhere. Alright, back there, at least nowhere. Okay, Kyoko. There you are. You gonna ignore me, lady? Anyway. I'm busy. I don't have time to waste. Uh, of course! <coughs> out of curiosity, though. Are they in the, uh. Is Byakuya and Toko in the other room's office? I'm actually curious if I can actually hang out with them now. I know I could talk to Toka for a while now, but probably plan on not to, but I'm just curious if I could actually do that. Alright, Toko. <gasps> Makoto, are you le leering at me? What are you thinking? What are you planning to, to, to do to me? Nope. What about you, though? What are you doing? What? What's the matter? Thinking about who you might like to kill? <laughs> well, choose wisely. In this game, loss means nothing less than death. I can actually do it! Hmm. This might be an interesting experience. But why the fuck not? <laughs> Let's go for it! Fine, I don't mind allowing you to indulge in my attention. I hope you appreciate this. This could be fun! <laughs> I spent some time with Byakuya. Byakuya and I grow a little closer together. Alright. Let's give him a sort of present, I guess. I don't think he'll like Coca-Cola. Maybe? He probably is the fancy type or something. Sea salt. Nah. A black croissant, maybe? Maybe? Some sort of rations? If he's into survivability, maybe. Love status ring? There's no way of giving him that. Hope's Peak ring. Scare brooch. Jimmy Decay t-shirt? What is that? <laughs> oh man, I miss him already. God damn it. Adorable Reactions Collection. Unending Dandelion. I could give him this! <laughs> this might be a bad idea to give him a fucking gun, but... Hold on. What's this say exactly? Created by the high-tech technology, as a single shot can meld molecules, a fully grown human. There aren't bad any batteries though, so you can't fire it. <laughs> YOLO! <laughs> you think you can move me with the you think you can move me with this? I'm not so easily impressed. Dude, you like <sighs> Okay. I think he's too happy about that. I have a question for you. Uh-huh, you do? That's right. Something has been bothering me for a while now, and I can't take it anymore. So to answer my question. Hmm. I need you to explain to me what exactly your ultimate lucky student title means. Oh, well, I don't tell totally it again myself, but what I do know is that I was picked at random from a pool of normal students. So, in other words... So, you just got into Hope's Peak, Hope's Peak by blind luck. <laughs> I see. Oh, that answers my question. Oh, what was the question? <laughs> How a commoner like you, with absolutely no unique talents or abilities, could get into the school. <laughs> Oh, I forgot to mention boring. How a boring, untalented, utterly generic commoner got in. You know, I normally, in circumstances, if I were in this position, I would totally hate on Byakuya, but I completely agree. Makoto's a boring piece of shit. Boring? Generic? Did you really have to list all that off? But it's the truth. <laughs> Maybe compared to you, the ultimate affluent prodigy and all, but even I, you seem to think that it's merely an issue of title, but make no mistake, my lineage, intelligence, figure, athletic ability, they are all ultimate. In other words... Which is to say, I am the ultimate perfection. Feel free to begin calling me that, in fact. He's really taking this to the extreme. <laughs> you, who have nothing. I, who have everything. We are living proof that all men are not created equal. I, I feel like that's already given. 
that's an obvious statement right there, but that doesn't mean that me and you are proof or we're not equal or whatever. I guess in terms of status and money, yes, but uh, in terms of liability or livability or all around survivability, uh, no, we're not. <laughs> yeah, my pity, Makoto. I can be very cruel indeed. Especially the ones that creating that cruel statement, Widowmaker. <laughs> And because I pity you so much, perhaps someday I'll allow you to hear my tale of glory. Consider it a blessing to get from me to you to allow to bask in my glory. Having finished this mean spirit lecture, Byakuya left me standing there in silence. I learned one thing about Byakuya today. Anytime I talk to him, I need to prepare for an extreme psychological trauma. But hey, at least I update his report card and I don't have the skill. Cool and composed. <laughs> oh, that is so, so dorky. <laughs> I did my best and keep my spirit from showering like glass and went back to my room. Is it nighttime or is there still more free time ahead of me? Oh, this music's really catching. <laughs> I have plenty of time. I don't feel like just sitting here, so I should go somewhere. Alright then. Let's -a go. Where to go now, though? I already talked to Byakuya, yeah, I think that's good enough. Fuck it, let's talk to Aoi. I haven't talked to my wife in a while now, so fuck it, let's go. Hmm. I was actually thinking, um, this is an interesting thing that um, I was thinking about when I was talking to my girlfriend. We already de dead, at, dead set on naming our children already if we ever plan on having them. If we have a guy, we'll name him Roy, and if we have a girl, we name, him, name her Ada. You got it! And, uh, I was always, um, the, uh, under the impression that if we ever had a third child, I really want to name her Aoi. <laughs> Not because, um, I like Aoi as a character in this game, but because, um, it's kind of like, in terms of, like, a, a pattern that we, when we name our children. Like, Roy has one syllable, and Ada has two syllables. Both of them have three letters. Aoi has three letters, and has three syllables. So that would pretty much be in a perfect trend, although if we have ever have a fourth child, child, which I doubt we will, it's gonna be pretty hard to have three letter three letters with four syllables as a name. It'll, it'll probably just be impossible, in matter of fact. Anyways, let's talk to Hina. Yeah. Want to go for a run to relieve some of the stress? All right. Hina and I went for a light run through the school. I probably should have bought some gifts before I do anything, honestly. But whatever. I'll definitely give her a present. What the hell was she like, though? Coca-Cola? That doesn't have any protein whatsoever. Oh, maybe I should have given uh, Byakuya this thing. Oh, well. Sea salt. Is that some sort of ingredient for, uh, whatever? Basic seasoning produced from the evaporation of seaweed. Seawater. It also sees... Sees uses as preservatives. Let's give her a ration. Maybe. <laughs> Thanks! I'm super stoked! Does that mean she liked it? I'm guessing she liked it. Ugh, hey, Makoto. I'm so tired. Yeah, you... Yeah, you look pretty tired. What happened? Well... I woke up earlier than normal this morning, so I decided to do a push-up, sit-up, squat set. I ended up doing a thousand of each. Well, that would explain it. Aww. Tired. So tired. I want something sweet. Okay. I want those things you get when you mix flour, sugar, butter, eggs, and deep fry them. So. Donuts, of course! Cookies, churros. I, I, I'm assuming it's definitely donuts. She definitely loves donuts. Oh, I know. You want some donuts, don't you? Um... Don't tell anyone, but there's actually a bunch of frozen donuts in the warehouse. Okay. Throw those in the microwave for a few seconds and just imagine. Imagine the warm chewiness of that donut. You know what I'm saying, right? You eat that crap out of that, right? You, you eat the crap out of that, right? You really do love donuts, huh? Just a second. I'm gonna find any item in the item store and see if I could actually find any donuts. So I could definitely give a whole bunch of them to you. Anyways, is there anyone who doesn't? Who on earth? No. Who in the whole universe can stand they can say they hate donuts? Um Think about the sensation of biting into a donut. First the sweetness floods into your mouth, then the soft dough cushions you. Next, you get that hint of egg and 
butter, right? Your whole body starts to melt. You feel like you're falling into the center of the donut itself. When people th when people talk about the donut effective, that's what they're talking about. That's absolutely not true. Huh? I can't take it anymore! I'm drooling like Niagara Falls over here! Get out of my way, Makoto, or I'll uppercut you with a name on it! Uh, I'm not in the way. <laughs> Wait for me, God of Donuts! Almost before she was talk done talking, Ina took off like a bat out of hell. Whenever I'm around her, I feel like I'm soaking in the essence of human vitality. Ina's report card has been updated based on your experience with her. Maximum skill points has increased. Seems like so far I've been doing nothing but increasing her skill points every time I talk to her. <laughs> Let me try and review all the, uh, the skill sets I've actually acquired throughout the uh, social gatherings. Can I do that? I can't. All right. And after this, I'll take a real quick break. Uh, did I ha ever hang out with him? I did not. Oh, and he's dead. I definitely hanged out with you. Cool and composed. Info: My lineage, intelligence, figure, athletic ability. <laughs> so he thinks of himself as the ultimate perfectionist. At least I got the uh, cool and composed uh, achievement. I never hanged out with him. I hanged out with Leon once, and I got a robot jock. Okay, I hang out with Hifumi once, and I got handiwork. All these things, and I... I definitely remember hanging out with... Yeah, twice, I think, but one of them I failed at. So, lost in thought. Did I ever hang out with her? Oh, I think I was forced to hang out with her, actually. Never mind. Oh, oops. I definitely... What the fuck? What the hell was that for? Why does it go up when I go... Whatever. Kyoko, okay, okay, I definitely remember hanging out with her a lot. I got max SP1 and another max SP1. Okay. Oh, we <laughs> hanged out with her three times. All of which gave me more max SP. Toko. Ooh, I write my whatever hang out with her. Sakura. Twice. Breathing technique and max SP. Celeste. Did I hang out? Yeah, I definitely hanged out with her twice. And I gained more. That. I don't ever remember hanging out with you. Chihiro. I don't remember hang Okay. And that's all the students. Whew, alright, so, in the meantime, we'll be right back with the next episode of Danganronpa. Stay tuned for that.